So the trim tool is used for creating trim along the edges of a, of a mesh. Uh, to start with, you would select the edge that you want the trim to be on, then use the trim tool. The, the directions determines uh, which way the, the trim flows. As you can see, this is sorted at the bottom, so I want to go down. If I chose up, you would see it's kind of going up towards the mesh and left and right according going to the sides. So in this case I would want to use down. Length controls the length of it in the direction it's going and thickness this basically controls how thick it is. And of course you can subdivide and change the edge sharpness. You also have the option to create a group a new group for the the trim once you create it. So I'm going to show you how you would use it on uh, a real model. So I'm going to split the views and I have them synchronized. It makes it easier for me to see the results. I'll subdivide it. So I selected the edges that I want, then I'm going to use the trim tool. You can see, in this case, it's kind of vertical, so I would want the direction to be left. And I want the length to be a lot less. I click apply and you can see it creates a new group for the trim. So when you create the trim you may need to clean up the materials a little bit. So the material is going a little bit further than I want. So what I'm going to do is just select the ring of edges inside of here and connect them. And then I'll set the, the polygons to a, a different material. So select ring, then run connect. It's hard to see that it connected them because it's subdivided, but the edge is uh, close up top. So I'm going to select the edge again, select ring, convert to faces, and then I'm going to set this material zone to the main material of the shirt. Now you can see the trim is a lot narrower and looks better. Let's just change that color so we can see it. There. There you can see it better.